Hello, welcome to Addison's TV. I'm Ben, and today I'm here with not acoustic guitars, as is obvious. These are a collection of lap steels that we've got available. Um, if you've never played a lap steel or don't know anything about them, let me tell you a little bit about what they are, where they came from, and why they're cool, I suppose. Um, the solid body lap steel was actually the first ever solid body electric guitar. The, I think it was the Rickenbacker frying pan back in the 30s. And, and it's basically, it's a lump of wood with a pickup on it, much the same as electric guitars. You can see here, this one in particular, this is, this is the Recording King lap steel that I've got here. Um, it's got a square neck, so it sits kind of comfortably on your lap, and then you play it with one of these, or a rounded version, which is a steel, um, it's a lump of metal, generally. You can get ceramic ones and stuff. But here we are, and this is the, uh, the kind of entry level one that we're looking at today. This is the Recording King with a humbucker pickup. It's also available with a P90. Solid mahogany body, 23 and a half inch scale length. Um, and this is, you know, this is a very cool lap steel guitar. It's got nice uh, tuners, sealed kind of Cluson type tuners. Uh, and it sounds like this. It sounds great, actually. Um, so as you can see, if you've never played a uh, kind of lap steel guitar, the strings are a long way off the fretboard and the fretboard has no frets. It's just there as a kind of guide and then you press down with this metal bar to make your notes. So you, there's no way of being in tune unless you put your bar in the right place, basically. But it doesn't mean you can get these cool slides. <laughs> Tuning for lap steel is a thing uh, of great debate online and amongst lap steel players. I've tuned this to open E because it made the most sense for the strings that came on the guitar. Because you want to have a decent bit of tension so when you're pressing down on the bar, you can get a nice clean note. Um, so this is tuned to open E. Other kind of common lap steel tunings would be open D, open G and C6, which we'll come on to in a minute. To hear what this sounds like in context, me and Pete had a little jam earlier, so uh, let's see what that sounds like. Next up, we have this, which is the Epiphone Electar Century, which is kind of a futuristic looking design, even though it's based on the original 1939 Epiphone Electar. Um, so this is a kind of throwback from Epiphone. It looks great. I have to say, I love these knobs, these Art Deco style knobs. They are super cool. Um, it has a few differences to the 1939 model, obviously. The first one I would say is probably these very handy grip pads underneath, uh, which stop it sliding off your legs. A practical yet seldom seen thing in the world of lap steels, I think. Um, the pickup is designed to look like one of the original lap steel pickups which went over the top, but actually I think this is just, this is just a cover over what they call a blade humbucking pickup. Um, on the last one I mentioned that people use different tunings all the time for lap steel. This is in C6 tuning, so you get your classic Hawaiian sounds like this.
<laughs> which I love. It's also, this is the very common uh, Western swing tuning. So if you're looking to play Western swing stuff, this is the tuning for you. Now the guitar itself, it's a mahogany body again. This one comes with a gig bag, which is really good for when you want to go out gigging. The string spacing on here is huge. Um, I'm not entirely sure how wide it is, but it's a lot wider than any of the other three we've got here, which you know suits some people down to the ground. I had to switch to using a longer bar on it because my short rounded bar wasn't quite big enough to cover all six strings. Yeah, it's a nice sounding guitar. Uh, doesn't have as much output as the Recording King, but then it's a, it's a smaller pickup. It's a kind of thinner, more classic sound, I would say, for the you know Western swing style stuff, maybe. Anyway, let's hear how it sounds in context uh, with my beautiful, glamorous assistant, Pete. So if you want to find out any more information about the Epiphone Elector or the Recording King model, click in the links below, everything's in the description. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button and the like button so you never miss any of these wonderful uh, informative videos that we do. It's going to be good. So this is the Gretsch model. Um, it's a Gretsch Electromatic Lap Steel. It's got a single coil Dynasonic pickup in it, which is very cool. Different body shape. I have to say, this is my favourite body shape of all of them because... I think this might come from being a pedal steel player. I'm used to having a bit more kind of to rest my wrists on this side. And uh, this has got it here and here, so it's a bit more comfortable to play. Having said that, it also has by far the narrowest nut width of all these uh, lap steels. This one's only a 1.875 inch nut width, which is very narrow for a lap steel, but you know, if that, that might suit some people. Um, this is 399, it's got a 22 and a half inch scale length, um, and it sounds like this. Great. It's a fun guitar. It's a, as I say, it's comfortable to play from a wrist kind of, from my hand position point of view. I've got to say the string spacing on this is a bit narrow for me for this kind of playing. Um, I like a bit, a bit more gap to get my fingers in, but it sounds great. Um, let's hear what it sounds like in context. So there we are. If you want to find out any more about the specs on this, it's another mahogany body one, but um, click the links down below. You'll find out all the details there. Uh, this one doesn't come with a case, unfortunately, but moving on, the next one does. 
So last but not least, we come to this, which is the Gold Tone. Uh, this is the most expensive of these four, which comes in at £629. Solid mahogany body, two inch nut on this. So it's kind of, this is a really comfortable string spacing after the quite tight spacing of the Gretsch. Um, it's a 25 inch scale length. Um, this is a very cool design and I love the look of it. Um, the binding is lovely. It's based on a design called the, um, the Wahoo, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Tone Master, which I believe was from the early 30s. Um, so it's got these kind of, these, this treble clef and there's some note motifs here. You've got a volume knob on one side, which is here, um, but the tone knob is on the other side, so which is kind of, it, it's in keeping with the traditional design, I guess but it does make it a little bit awkward to operate the tone control, particularly if you want to do the classic kind of Western swing style um, tone swells, which is normally you do with your little finger over the other side, but it's, I mean, you can, I guess. Anyway, I'm completely digressing. Um, again, another square neck. This one does come with a case, which is great. It's got these lovely um, sealed kind of Cluson style tuners. The sunburst, as you can see, goes all the way up the back and up the neck, which is very cool indeed. Um, I, I do love this one, I've got to say. Gold Tone, I wasn't, in, I wasn't familiar with Gold Tone as a company, but they've got um, some very cool looking instruments. Click the links below, you'll, you'll see all sorts of stuff. They do banjos, resonators, mandolins, all kind of you know folky, rootsy instruments. So it's gonna be great. But yeah, this is the Gold Tone, um, the lap steel, and I love the sound of this. It's got a, um, a P90 underneath this cover here, which is a little bit microphonic, which, ah, oh, which is probably why I love the sound of it so much. I love microphonic pickups. Good. This is a good sounding guitar. Um, I love it. Let's hear how it sounds when I'm actually playing it with, uh, with someone else. So there we have it. That's four of the lap steels that we've got available at the moment. I think they're all in stock. Um, they have a huge range of prices, starting from the Recording King down here at 189, through the Epiphone at 249, the Gretsch here, which is 399, up to the Gold Tone, which is 629. So you've got everything, anything for kind of every budget. My favourite one, I think, is the Gold Tone, but then my second favourite would be the Recording King out of the out of the four. So if that you know, for what that's worth. Leave your comments below. Let us know which one you like the sound of best. And um, yeah, and also let us know any other tunings that you use that are not open E, D, G, A or C6 because um, I want to know what they are for when I play more lap steel. All right, I've been Ben, it's been lovely and um, I will see you again soon. Don't forget to leave comments, click the like and subscribe button and um, we'll see you again next time. All right.